Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, I am going away in a couple of days, so I have been condensing my kit like crazy. I'm taking hand luggage only. I've got a few bits and pieces together, um, minimalizing liquids and things, and I went down to Topshop last week, bought this jacket while I was at it. Um, I thought it was perfect for sort of traveling. It's really comfortable, sort of boyfriend style. And um, while I was there, I had a look at their makeup because I am only taking hand luggage and I don't want to take too many liquids. I don't want to take any brushes. I just want to rely on my fingertips. I just want it easy, don't we all? There's my receipt and I bought these cute little pieces here, which I'm going to show you. I like them because they're so sort of condensed and little. I will talk you through those shortly. So I'm going to talk you through all the products that I've used. This is my daytime look. I'm going to show you how I've achieved that. And then I am going to demonstrate how I can turn this day look into an evening look. So I've got my lovely Topshop bits and pieces, which I'm going to talk you through. And there's a few other bits and pieces that I want to add as well, which I will show you during this video. So I thought I would take you through how to condense your kit. There are so many products out there that you can use your fingertips with just as well as you can with your brushes. And you know what? It's, it's sunny where I'm going. So I don't want too much makeup. I just want easy. So I'm going to show you some of the products that I've chosen. I've done a daytime look here. I'm just going to talk you through exactly what I've done and what I've used. And then I'm going to show you how you can change this look into an evening look. Again, just using your fingertips and a few sort of key products to make it a nice evening look. So firstly, um, I have tinted my eyebrows. I don't know if you saw the video that I did uh, last week. It was on Makeup Revolution, their brow tint. Um, I know it is not much trouble to take a little brow pencil, that's cool, but again, just to make things quicker and easier, um, you know what, I've, I'm gonna tint my brows, and I've done that just now, and I will do that again just before I go away. That's gonna last three days, so that's great. And in terms of foundation, I'm taking this one by Makeup Revolution. Um, again, you know what, it's easy. I can use my fingertips, I can use like a spot base during the day, or I can build it up in the evening. That's perfect, it's compact. There's no, no spillages there because it's a stick. And in terms of concealer, something cheap and cheerful by NYX. You know, it's just easy. It's got that dome-shaped applicator if I need it. You know what? It's not glass, it's lightweight, so that's perfect for me. Okay, and to set the foundation, obviously I need a little bit of powder. I'm taking this, this is by Primark. It's two pounds and I'm taking it because it's really good and it's so slim. It clicks shut nicely. It's not something that's going to fly open. So, you know, that's good for me. I'm just going to use a, a little powder puff with that just to set my foundation. Again, no brushes. For cheeks, I love this. This is by Daniel Sandler. They're liquid blush. Again, just my fingertips. So pretty. I love this. Just take a couple of drops. Literally about that much. And look how intense that colour is. It's beautiful. I love it. They do several shades. Um, it's just nice. Look. You can use that as a lip tint, tint if you want. Um, in this case, I have used my Bourjois Chubby Stick. I love this thing because it's got a sort of natural shine in it anyway. Um, easy, well loved by Bourjois. And finally, I popped on this Tarte Mascara. Again, you know what? I like it because it's, it's small and it's a good mascara. So for my daytime look on my eyes, I bought this beautiful little pencil case by Topshop, really cute. And they've got a couple of chubby sticks in here and two um, eye pencils. So this chubby stick here, as you can see, is really cute. Um, I have put that all over my lid. It's beautiful, really nice. It blends really nicely, not at all scratchy on the eye. It's a lovely, lovely cream eyeshadow. And literally, I've just put that on straight onto my eyelid and sort of patted it all over as a, a nice sort of cream eyeshadow, okay? It's not oily in any way, it's just nice. Obviously there is a little room to manoeuvre, but it's not oily at all, I promise you. So in my little pencil case, I've already shown you the cream eyeshadow. I've also got a lip pencil here, another nice sort of chubby stick, and I have a lovely black eyeliner, it's lovely and soft, and a lip liner. So I am going to line my eyes to make it more of an evening look um, and just show you. You know, you don't have to be too precise. You know what, it's gonna be warm weather. You might be a little bit sweaty or glowing, shall we say. Uh, women glow, don't they? Somebody told me once that men perspire 
uh, Women Glow. I like that. So nice little black pencil. You can just sort of work that into the waterline. So you can see I've just I've just popped the uh, pencil. It's a really nice soft, soft pencil. I've popped that in the waterline and I'm just going to put a little bit just on the lid and smudge that with my fingers. I don't have any liquid eyeliners or anything like that here. So for the evening, all I've done, literally, I promise you, I haven't put any more of that uh, brown pencil eyeshadow. I've just put this coal liner in my waterline and I've put it, I don't know if you can see closely, sort of on the, on the lash line and winged it. It's a very nice pencil because you can control it. It doesn't scratch, but it's not so soft that it goes kind of all over the place. So I really like that product. Uh, next, I'm going to pop on this lovely eyeshadow, um, just for that extra bit of sparkle. Um, okay, really pretty hologram effect. I'm just gonna literally use my ring finger you can see it's a really, really pretty colour, very, very iridescent. And just pat that on my eyelids as much or as little as you want. This eyeshadow is really quite interesting. It looks pink on camera, but I've been off camera and it looks gold, it looks really gold. It's a really strange but beautiful eyeshadow. It's lovely, this sort of holographic effect, which is really, really nice. So eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to lips now. So I have this lovely liner and chubby lip pencil. I'm just gonna show you how you can use that. Just to sort of, you know, basically when you're doing your evening makeup, you want it just to look a little bit more sort of groomed and less casual than you do in the day, that's all. So liner's done, that's a very nice pencil. I like that colour, sort of a pinky nudie colour. And you know I like my pinky nudes. And I'm gonna put this lovely lip colour on. Just sort of fill in. Okay, so eyes and lips done. Um, so that's the sum total of my Topshop makeup. Um, I'm going to take this lovely Iman highlighter. Again, it's a stick. It's really easy to use. I'm going to pop some of that onto my cheekbones and onto my brow bones just for a very little bit of subtle highlighting. I'm just going to use my fingertips. And just... It's a really, really nice, easy product to use. I pop some of that lovely Iman highlighter just on my cheekbones, down the centre of my nose, and basically down the centre of my face just to do some really subtle contouring and highlighting. And that is it. That is my weekend away evening look. Obviously, I've gone for sort of pinky tones. I didn't realise that gold eyeshadow was going to be so pinky. I do like it very much though. Adapt your colours according to the wardrobe that you're taking or, you know, your colouring. I mean, honestly, anything goes anything at all i mean if it suits your skin tone just go for it i hope i've managed to show you how you can you know really condense your kit and still achieve a workable but just as effective evening makeup using minimal amounts of products it's just about a clever planning ahead i think that's the key to remember here okay guys that brings us to the end of my video i really really hope you enjoyed that um i am going to be keeping you posted on how i do with these products and how they wear on my, on my little weekend away I'll be sending you little snippets little updates so if you've got any questions please shoot them over to me in the comments box and if you haven't already subscribed please do so that really really helps me and if you enjoyed this video you know what to do please give it a thumbs up thank you so much bye